Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemia Crafting here again. And today I would like to share with you what I'm doing for, like recently. Uh, I found very enjoyable to create my own butterflies. I'm gonna show you just a small sneak peek. Uh, I'm creating like really beautiful butterflies. And what I'm using for that, I found on Amazon collection of three paper punches with different sizes of butterflies. They are Wiesen Creative. This is the name of the company who made these, uh, these punches. And I found them in this collection on Amazon. When I typed, I think I typed the butterfly punches, that's all. And what I'm using uh, also, it's this um, graphic design botanical tea collection uh, those butterfly stamps they are not exactly same but they do have that butterfly you know butterfly shape and all those uh, lines so i decided to <laughs> create my own butterfly i've got here uh, spiced mermaid uh, distress ink and <laughs> what i did i just smushed 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 <laughs> It's kind of crazy creation. It's really relaxing because you don't have to think. Like, not at all. Only what I do to make sure that my colors will don't get, you know, that that um, mermaid uh, mermaid color will don't get to the to the blue color. I'm gonna dry it a little bit with my heating tool. And then I will use my blue colors for that. I choose uh, tumbled glass, broken china, and also a little bit darker, those faded jeans. I think this will be enough. And now I will go uh, from the lightest. I will try to fill those spaces uh, between that, you know, that orange. This is probably nearly dry, so I'm gonna take the broken china and I'm gonna smush, 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 smush. <laughs> this is really very easy craft. Totally easy craft, even that stamping and punching. It's very relaxing, no stress at all. You can watch some telly alongside and you can create your own butterflies. And you can choose, you know, colors you like. Totally mix them up. And you don't have to be worried if you have some collection which is matching each other because it's really not important. I mean, collection of stamps and punches. Like this. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy. <laughs> and what I did next. I took black ink. Choose some butterfly. I want to stamp. I stamped that butterfly. I'm going to go this way. This way. I stamped that butterfly on my paper. And then took some, you know, some of these paper punches, no matter what kind of size. And I just slide it there and try to uh, put the stamp in the middle, you know, and punch. And when I have, you know, here on the side, like a big leftover of the paper, I stamp it again. Not properly, just made that the body of the butterfly. And then I took this teeny mini smaller one and I slide it in again, try to place it to the middle of that stump and punch. And I'm telling you, it's so <laughs> relaxing <laughs> and it's kind of funny because <laughs> those stumps and those butterflies, they are not going together. Like uh, if you will have a look on the shape of this butterfly. And on the shape of this butterfly, they are not same. But 
when you stamp it and then when you punch it I'm gonna do it this way it looks like this and um, if you wanna <clears throat> make it totally amazing I'm using walnut stain distress ink and I'm just gonna go over the edges I really love that. It's easy. It's relaxing. <laughs> I don't have to have same uh, stamps and dies or same stamps and you know punches. I can use any stamp of butterfly I I have any stamp uh, any paper punch of butterfly I have, and it's very very relaxing. And I really love those small butterflies. I can choose any colors for that background. I want and create totally mess on this because then on those butterflies you know butterflies are very colorful so then on those butterflies it can look totally totally amazing you can spray it and then your uh, distress inks will go you know it will melt it not melt it you know that right word they will soak each to to each other <laughs> you know that right word so they will make totally amazing background for your stamping and punching <laughs> so this is my very quickly and short sharing uh, it's for those days when you don't actually want to do some big project but you want to create something and if you are like me you like to do something, something, not just sitting and watching telly, but to do something. So I think this project can be <laughs> very creative. It can, you know, you can uh, make the butterflies maybe for your future journal. And here on those two small, because I don't like to waste my paper, I'm going to use stamp and stamp the body just body because i will go with my paper punch this way so i'm gonna place my butterfly stamp the way where i will go with that paper punch this way so here i've got that body of that butterfly i'm gonna slide that punch in there And I do have teeny small butterfly, like this. So it's really very relaxing. And I may will use a little bit more of that orange on my paper. You can add and add any kind of colors you want. And then to create your own collection. And when you will be ready to create your big project you have butterflies done so this is my sharing for today i hope you like it i hope you will try it when you will you know feel not ready for big projects but some for something small have a wonderful day take care about yourself and see you see you next time bye